Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to use a portable optical refractometer. In this particular example I'm going to be demonstrating how to use it with coolant or antifreeze and I'm going to show you step by step how to take the measurement. This particular refractometer comes in a little kit like this. That is the brand. I got this on Amazon and it cost about $20. Inside the carry case You've got the portable refractometer, you've got two droppers, you've got a screwdriver to perform your calibration adjustment, and there's a leaflet just explaining to you how to take the measurements. Right, just to name the parts, this is the prism, this is the daylight plate, this is the calibration screw. If you'd like to see step-by-step -step how to calibrate your portable refractometer, please check out my YouTube channel. And then here is the viewfinder or your eyepiece. There is a focus adjustment over here. If you look over here, you can see you can focus it just by turning this knob. Right, I'm now gonna show you how to take a measurement. The first thing you wanna do is make sure your prism and daylight plate are clean. I clean it with distilled water. I'm gonna use engine coolant for this example. This happens to be ethylene glycol. Why that's important is when you have a look at the scale inside the refractometer, you'll see that there's a scale for ethylene glycol or propylene glycol. I'm first going to take a measurement with one part coolant to two parts distilled water. So I'm going to take one cap of coolant to two parts water. Now I take my dropper and you only need one to two drops on the prism. We want to make sure there are no bubbles once I close the daylight plate. Right, now leave this for 30 seconds. We want the temperature of the solution to get to the temperature of the refractometer. Now in this case the temperature is 21 degrees. When you are using your refractometer there is a recommended range of temperature measurements. So if you are going to use it the range is between 10 and 26 degrees Celsius or 50 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, after you've waited 30 seconds, you now can look through the viewfinder here, and you will now see a scale. All right, so in this case, if we look at the ethylene scale, we can see that the solution is at about minus 19.5 degrees centigrade. Right, so this was minus 19.5, if we take that as the measure, and this is in degrees centigrade, and this scale is the ethylene glycol scale. Now we go look at the conversion table, and it would be about here minus 19.5 so if we convert this to the antifreeze water mixture we could see that it's somewhere around here it's probably a bit more than 36 percent but less than 40 but let's look at a graph because it'll give a more accurate representation so minus 19 is sitting somewhere here and if we continue along this line using the red line it will intercept somewhere here and it's about there so it's just over a third so obviously i wasn't extremely accurate when i was measuring so you can see that's about 37 percent of glycol to water mixture so i was aiming for 33 percent right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more cap of antifreeze so that would take this to a 50 50 percent mixture now I'm just cleaning the prism and the daylight plate and I'm going to put two drops on the prism. I'm going to let that stand for 30 seconds. Now when it was a 50-50% solution, we can see that the temperature here is at minus 36. So we could take that as minus 36 degrees centigrade as the freezing point of the solution. But how much antifreeze to distilled water is that? We've got to go back to the conversion table or the graph. So minus 36 is just about here. And that intercepts the red line about here. Look at that, 50%. And having already done this exercise, you can see that that is the 50% antifreeze to 50% distilled water. And look at that, it's minus 37 degrees. Keeping in mind that the refractometer does have some inaccuracy, as it does depend on how accurately it was calibrated. All right, so there you can see with an example using antifreeze and a conversion table. Thanks for watching and cheers.